We focus on the curvature of the ball in this video, so we take a look at the horizontal component of the D plane. The club path is the horizontal angle of this uh, blue arrow club head direction, and the face angle is the uh, horizontal angle of this uh, red arrow club face orientation. And the difference between those arrows is the face to pass. Face to pass on Trackman. Uh, here is the uh, Trackman screen. And when you select impact here, you get uh, this screen. And in the lower part, we get the items about uh, uh, face to pass. The uh, face angle is the horizontal angle of this uh, red arrow face direction and the club path is the horizontal angle of this uh, blue arrow club head direction and the angle between those is the face to pass and face to pass decides spin axis and spin axis decides curvature uh, Here is the uh, precondition of this video Center heat and dynamic rise zero. Any other factors such as gear effect are not considered in this video. Just the spin axis for the reason of the curvature. Uh, definition and calculation. Both club pass and face angle uh, is defined uh, relative to target line. Okay? Uh, this is the trackman definition. And right side, right side is uh, plus, and uh, left side is minus. Okay, uh, face pass is uh, face angle minus club pass. Okay, red minus blue. And when this value is plus, spin axis is plus, meaning the axis is slant to the right. The ball curves to the right, meaning uh, slice for right-handed golfers. When this value is a minus, it's the opposite. It's a hook shot. Uh, example, uh, in this picture, the face angle is 0 and the club pass is 5. And face pass is uh, 0 minus 5 is minus 5, which is a hook. And uh, how much curvature do we have? Let's take a look at the uh, Trackman calculator for the uh, actual values. Okay, firstly, let's see the relation between the face to pass and the spin axis. This is the spin axis calculator of Trackman. Face to pass is 1.5, spin axis is uh, about 5. Okay, and uh, face to pass is 3, spin axis is about 10. When we change the face angle, not the club pass, uh, the effect is same. Next, let's see the relation between the spin axis and the curvature uh, at the uh, 42 club head speed. When the spin axis is uh, 5, uh, the curvature is about 8 yards. And the spin axis 10, curvature about uh, 16 yards. Okay, uh, now we know the face to pass is the reason of curvature. So the reason for slice is plus value of face to pass. And uh, this sentence is important. Physically, above is the only reason of slice. Okay, the only reason. Uh, let me introduce a typical misunderstanding. Okay, example one. When you swing out to in, you get slice. Uh, this is a, a wrong idea. Example two. When you hit with the uh, open club face, you get slice. This is not correct either. Okay? Those are not direct reasons for your slice. Alone. Let me explain. A golfer swing out to in. Okay, uh, club pass is minus one. 
he draws the ball. How could this happen? Because his、uh, club face is closed. Example two, at the impact, the club face is open, one degree. And still, the ball curves to the left. Draw.、Uh, actually, uh, this uh, combination is the case、uh, for most professional and expert golfers. I mean,、uh, draw hitters. Out to win swing pass and、uh, open face angle are not direct cause of the slice. Summary face to pass. Face to pass is the angle of the plane in horizontal view from the top. It is the angle between the face angle, which is the horizontal angle of red arrow. And the、uh, club pass, which is the horizontal angle of、uh, blue arrow. And the face to pass decides the spin axis. And the spin axis decides the curvature. Approximation of the value face to pass is 1.5 spin axis slant about 5 degrees. And the ball curves about、uh, 8 yards. And、uh, this is the most important point. Face to pass is the only. Direct reason of curvature. Okay, the next video is on the true ball flight law, launch direction. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.